This week's Comic Shop Talk is brought to you by Comic Palooza, Texas's largest comic convention. I'm here at uh, Eight Dimension Comics, and uh, Buckaroo Banzai is not here, but Chris Yost and Ryan Stegman is here, mm -hmm. writer and artist of uh, Scarlet Spider. So tell me about Scarlet Spider. Well, Scarlet Spider is a brand new ongoing series from Marvel Comics. Issue one came out today. Uh, January 11th, and uh, it's the ongoing adventures of a clone of Peter Parker, the Amazing Spider-Man named Kane, and he has come to Houston to start a new life. Now, what what made this book come about? I mean, because it's been a long time since these characters came out of the hiding place. So what, whose well, idea? I, I understand that there were, like, for a long time there was uh, a lot of... Um, buzz from fans that they wanted this character, uh, and then they did they did the Venom relaunch with like kind of a new new take on Venom, and it did really well. So I think that they were like, I think they thought that this was a good time to do it, and I think they were right. So, so the book is special because it takes place in Houston. Yep. And so, because it's awesome. Yeah. Well, I'm a Houstonian, <laughs> so that goes first. I gotta ask you, why Houston? What, what was the process there? Was it throw a dart on a board? Was, was no, it, it really wasn't. I mean, it was, uh, the idea was that the Marvel Universe largely is New York City. Right. All the X-Men and Spider-Man, you know, Fantastic Four. they're all there. So we really wanted to kind of expand the Marvel Universe out into new and exciting places. And the X-Men ended up on the West Coast, and we just really wanted to broaden things, so we headed south. Uh, Houston offers a lot of opportunities for us, like story-wise, you know, we're close to Mexico, we're close to the Gulf, you can, you can do a lot with Houston, and it's, a, it's a unique town, and it's really just, you know, making the Marvel Universe all that more real. Sounds, sounds really good, I read the first you issue, like in I know, I, I, I want to see you keep it up though, like I've seen a lot of books where we're going to do this, and they give you the first issue, and they do, yeah. and then they forget about it, they're like, let's just throw Magneto. Oh no! Yeah, we we we're going to be creating most of the characters. I see. I, I love that. Except for Galactus. Oh, is he is he coming? No. <laughs> That'll be cool. Uh, not that I not that I've drawn. Can he eat the Galleria? <laughs> no, you know I I think the first year is really setting up Scarlet Spider as a character in Houston. It's an all new supporting cast. We start the book with a brand new villain. Like we're really we're going for it. I mean, eventually, like Spider-Man and villain here and there will show up. You know, the Marvel Universe is going to kind of rear its head, but, you know, we're going we're gonna to give it a go. It, it sounds really badass, and the first issue was good. It was, a, it was the very, I'll tell you this, it was the best first issue I read this year. Oh, cool. Thank you. And you had 52 other competitors for that. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> at least. Uh, well, now, you, now you go back. I read, I read 15 of them. Right. I didn't read all 15. I couldn't do it. I don't have the strength. <laughs> I couldn't do it. But... Here's the thing I want to ask you, because I went on the forums, I read a lot of hatred mm -hmm. for Ben Riley. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. I, all I saw was love for yeah, Ben Riley. I read, but I read so much hatred uh -huh. because... That was me and Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because of the whole past. Uh -huh. Not the character. People liked the character when he was Spider-Man, and it, but it's so convoluted. Are y'all going to be tapping that well? I mean, I, I heard... A little, like I, he's, I've seen a little bit in the comic where he's like, I don't care about it anymore. Well, the, uh, he doesn't know, he doesn't care. But yeah. I mean, are we gonna, are we ever gonna delve into that any deeper? Yes, we are, but not for a while. Like the Clone Saga, the story you're talking about from the yeah. '90s, is pretty notorious. Yeah. Because they were gonna replace the Spider-Man that everyone knew and loved with like a clone of Spider-Man, more or less. Or I, no, they said that the real Spider-Man that was the clone for years was yeah. the clone. Yeah. And then they kind of went back on that and all that, but. And then the baby thing, people really, yeah. they didn't hate Peter Parker or Ben Riley, but they hated that story. Yeah. Well, and I mean, we're not going to be touching on that stuff, but I mean, like, this character does have a history, there's things that did kind of happen, and I mean, like, it is going to kind of come back. So you're going to go through therapy? By sure. By beating people up, yeah. All right. Now, here's some hardball questions. Okay. I'm ready. You ready? You. All right. You're the artist. Mm -hmm. All right. He writes, right? Mm -hmm. Do you get some input? Do you get to tell him, listen, I can't draw 88 buildings. Can you? <laughs> no, he, I mean, we haven't had that problem. He, basically, I will throw ideas his way, and he'll reject them. So, and then 
No, so like, we, you're not gonna have dinosaurs in no. Houston like Ryan wanted. Yeah. I'm sorry. There's no tension. There's no. I'm no. not drawing this garbage. I no. want this. There's none of that. I've, I've had to develop a thick. I that, mean, that's that's the job, you know. You so. never do that to him. Draw this. I want. No, because you know I want him to draw something that he's excited for. You know, like if he doesn't care, if he thinks it's lame, then it's not gonna be great. You know? so that's a good merit. I believe I, I said to you at the beginning of issue two, I was like, this one's great. There's hardly any crowds. That's right. That's, All right it now, has to be awesome and no crowds. Yeah. Now, this is your first time in Houston? Have you been to Houston? Yeah, no, this is my first time. Okay. You're drawing Houston. How did you go about drawing? I mean, did you like look at like Google Images? Did you? Um, I Yes, Google Maps. Really? And Google Images. But Google Maps has the street view and it has, now there's 3D views of the city. Uh, you can fly all around the downtown area and then you can get street view of almost any street in Houston. So, so did y'all like ever talk amongst yourselves? How are y'all how are y'all going to deal with, you know, Ben or Scarlet Spider outside the downtown? I mean how's he gonna get around? Well we, we have a page in issue three that his favorite page of the series, uh, where he runs out of skyscrapers. Because <laughs> the, the skyscrapers in Houston is like that. Right. You know, they're like well, just and, all. And we also up. have some, like in issue one, we have him webbed up, holding onto the side of a car on the freeway, <coughs> getting I, from one place to another. You know, like I, th I was thinking it was time for maybe a new toy. Like a Scarlet Spider mobile. Like uh, maybe not a car. Maybe I don't know a different kind of. Device like roller skates, <laughs> something, yeah, something like yeah. that. Good. But you know, all spidered up, we can make an action figure. All right, I get five percent. Well, <laughs> all right, that sounds good. Three percent, yeah, I got no. the contracts here. <laughs> I just want a percent, even 0 0.4. Okay, we'll do that. Half. Well, if the Scarlet Spider Mobile takes off, we'll let you know. Or the Segway, or the Segway, that'd be badass. Scarlet Spider Mobile Segway, that would be badass. Now, you're an artist, mm -hmm. but you also want to write in the future, or you want to write now, you're helping. In some way, what would be your dream project? The project you want to write tomorrow, yesterday. You wanted to do it yesterday. Oh, I mean, like I already work on stuff on my own, and it would—it's ju just creator own stuff, like stuff that I create completely. I don't really want to write superheroes. Oh, uh, really? So you just want to be all original? Yeah. That's just yeah. a check for you. No, I love drawing superheroes. Oh, writing. Yeah. So it's it's fun to draw superheroes. You just don't want to write them. Yeah, I don't think I would want to write. I mean, I I would take the job, but no, I I that's not that's never been. The I won't refuse the money, but yeah. I'm not gonna enjoy. It. Yeah, it's never been the goal of mine. Right, what about you? I mean, dream project. You go any company, DC, Marvel, Image, Independent, any book you want, as long of a run as you want, any story you want. Uh, with Marvel, if I could have a book. Any book you want. Outside of Scarlet Spider. Yeah, you're the, you're the chief creative officer. Do whatever you want. I do power back. Really? Really? For real? Yeah. For real. Your number one choice. Yeah. All right. See that 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 right there is a real answer because that was so obscure. No way you made it. Yeah. That's pretty badass. Power right. back's the best. Can't superior. What would you do with the story? What would issue one be? Well, I hadn't gotten that far. <laughs> um, they'd probably fight some aliens. Yeah, you start. With, well. If you did ultimate power back, you start with an origin, really. You just kind of like introduce audiences to the concept. I see. We, we got the whole writer process on film now. People are going to love that. This yeah, is how the mind... Are, people are going to be really impressed. But this is your real spinning, <laughs> see? <laughs> now when that book comes so out, I get, a, I get a percentage of the power back. <laughs> I was there for creation. Yeah. Okay. Here's my question about Avengers. You got a two-to-one budget against some of these other superhero cartoons. Right? And yet... Well, I mean, for the sake of argument, let's say yes. I don't know what the numbers are. Uh, yeah, for the sake of because I can't tell you, because I can't find any concrete numbers. Just <clears throat> everybody's opinions and guesses and rough estimates. But let's say that's what, let's say it's two to one. If it is two to one, and you go in, do you, do you write the story better? I mean, do you write it harder? Because you know the story has got to make up for the gap in, in, the, in the money that's in the budget. You know, like, I mean, does that come into play as you're writing? Because the budget thing just blew me away. I mean, I would have never guessed there was a difference like that. The great thing about Marvel is that people love it so much. And it goes down from the fans to the creators to background artists on the animated shows, colorists, and everything. So literally on Avengers, people work their hearts out. 
We had the hardest working production team that I've ever worked with in my life. And they killed themselves to make this the best show possible. It shows. Regardless of money really or anything. Uh, like they, they put so many hours in on this show and made it shine. We, uh, we, we truly like it's a gift to be able to work on this. And we really wanted to make the best we could. Well, uh, well everything you just said, it shows because I would have never known looking at the other animations that it's that big of a budget gap. I'd have never known unless somebody actually told me. That's how I knew. And I was shocked by it. Now, you got season two coming up. Yes. Wolverine going to be in it? No comment. I, mean, no, I know Wolverine's in it, right? I know he is. He's in season one. We already got the design. So. Wolverine was in season one? I don't remember him. What episode? Go back and watch. Really? Was he like at a bar or something? Is that is one of those little cameo things? He had a line. He talked to Captain America. Oh, in the past one, right? You're right. I'm sorry. All right. So we're gonna see him again, though, right? I'd say Magic Eight Ball. There's a fair chance. I like that. Are we gonna see any other X-Men? I can't say. Yeah. Uh, okay, I know the Fantastic Four. Yes, you'll see them for sure. Okay, is it going to be the same voice actors who did their series? No. Okay. Iron Man. Yeah, right. He's one of the main characters. No, no, I know, but Iron Man. Are we going to get more Tony Stark, less Iron Man this year? Yeah, actually, in the second episode of season two, it's a big Tony Stark episode. I love that because we kept watching. Well, me, I watched with my son, and uh, we kept watching. And I wanted more Tony. He wanted more Iron Man. But I really, I really, because that, the voice actor, he's so swarmy. He's got that, that, you know, that voice that. Tony Stark gets his own little Die Hard episode. So I love that. Good. When can we expect that? Uh, they just said that uh, Marvel Universe block on Disney XD is going to be premiering on April 1st, and that'll feature the return of Avengers. That is not, give me a spoiler. It's good. Give me a real spoiler. Uh, Nobody watches it. Give me a real spoiler. You're all, it's me and you. And Ryan. The, the team, and everybody else. Uh, nah. The team gets two new members. Give me some hints. No, that's why right, they're spoilers. Come spoiler. on, give me a hit. Come on. Give me somebody in Chicago. Give me one hit. Give me like, oh man, I wish I didn't hear that. Nah. Give me a hint. <laughs> I'll keep asking. Ryan's getting tired. It would be. You know, don't you? Come on, squeal. Uh, the power pad. <laughs> Give me a real hint for one of them. A real hint? A real hint for one of them. Yeah, I have six older sisters, so I have a lot There's a lot of scrolls coming <laughs> in places you wouldn't expect. So, is one of our Avengers already a scroll? Is that, is that we're, and it's not Captain America? It is Captain America. Yes. But is there another one? Maybe. Oh, see the way he, his eyes move? There isn't, you can't say yes though, right? I can't say yes. Oh, but there is another one. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop with the spoilers. But if I get some later, I'll post them. The title for episode seven is "Who Do You Trust?" I like that. I like that a lot. I'm looking forward to that. Last question. Back to Scarlet Spider-Man. I'm gonna let you guys finish up. I'm oh, sorry, Scarlet Spider, not Scarlet Spider-Man. Scarlet Spider. How long do y'all want to be on it together? I know y'all talked about it. Y'all said, "I'd like to do this, this, and this." How many issues do we need? What's the number? One. Just one issue? Yeah. Uh, We've already done two, so he's screwed. <laughs> I don't, I, I'm so happy on this book, I'd go for the foreseeable future. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to draw it for a long time. Really? Yeah. So y'all be on this for ten years if y'all could? I'm a yeah, big believer in a long time. I, I just want to draw Spider-Man. Really? So this is a variation on Spider-Man. I get to do the same things that I would do, so I, I'm perfectly You know what I want to ask you? And I know I said last question, but this will be the last question. Are you recreating some of the costumes for some, you know, new... Oh, all the characters. I mean, we're designing all the new guys. I mean. Well, no, I know you're the new guy, but, like, are you going to recreate it? Because, like, I, in Scarlet Spider, it was still the, the you know, Scarlet Spider suit. Mm -hmm. You're going to redo that or anything for... No, no, no. The, the new Scarlet Spider book is a brand new suit. It was a brand new... I remember seeing the... Yeah, that's all... That's brand new. Oh, you're right. I remember seeing the, the shirt. It was on a... It was on a flashback page, but that was it. I gotcha. Okay. Sweet. Are we going to get, is that going to be our permanent suit? Yep. yep. Permanent? Yeah. We're not going to change back, right? No. Because I know sometimes they give you the nice pretty suit, and then they go back to the old one. No, no, no. This is the, this is the costume. All right. Well, I'm really glad to talk to you guys. You guys wrote a good first issue. I can't wait for the next one. Thanks. So, uh, 
Christopher Yost, or I'm sorry, Chris Yost and Ryan Stegman. Yep. Two great guys, and uh, they're putting Houston on the map. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it, guys. Thanks for taking Appreciate time it. with us. Our pleasure.